Films have always been a huge influencing role in our lives. Whether is it good or bad, we tend to compare ourselves with the characters that we see in the movies. There is so much of violence and misogyny present in Indian films, especially for the past few decades. Our Indian youth tend to emulate the lines and the dialogues from these Tamil films. Could this be the reason behind why some Indian youth are involved in violent behaviours? Kishan Kumar, an inspiring filmmaker, shares some light on this issue. Violence and misogyny is very popularly on rise in films these days. And it's important as filmmakers, um, we portray a positive uh, image to the society that includes youths, uh, kids and even adults. As an aspiring filmmaker, we have to do what's right and send a positive message. Personally, uh, I believe um, that it's rated a lot and then uh, that society gets a lot of this violence and misogyny acts from films. ASP Ramesh, who works for the Malaysian Intelligence, said that Indian cinema is a great influence for Indian youth, not only in Malaysia but globally. Indian youth are one of the biggest number involved in today's notorious activities around the nation. Police brutality is an issue that's happening worldwide. Some Malaysians have commented on the police brutality that's happening here. Though it is rarely heard, it doesn't mean that it's not happening. I think police brutality is unacceptable. It is said that the one we rely on is the one we have to doubt. PDRM should address this issue and come up with a solution for it. Longing for simple love. This is a story of an adopted child and how she shares her insights on adoption and her opinions and her feelings. I am an adopted child. I only found this out after 21 years living with my adoptive parents. Being adopted is not as simple as you think it is. But I have faced all the struggles and I'm, I am strong today. The 14 general elections will be held next year in 2018. A group called Undi 18 has kickstarted a campaign to bring down the voting age from 21 to 18. Freedom of speech in Malaysia is very limited. Lawyer Archana Kumar shares the insight on this issue. Freedom of speech in Malaysia is governed by Article 10 in the Federal Constitution. However, as clearly as it's written and carved black and white, personally I feel here the application of the, this, this particular part of the Constitution is not as wide an application as what people think it is. Um, I feel in Malaysia, because of the society that you know we are we are surrounded with parents, teachers, um, um, leaders, for a matter of fact, class leader, school leader, whatever it is, it's always about following one person's voice, and it's not always about the unity of everybody. 